3D printers have gotten a lot of buzz, and particularly this one at a price point that was sort of more affordable for consumers. But now, how do you keep the momentum up? Because there's obviously challenges with as you're tweaking the, the software and you're you know, tweaking the hardware. How do you keep people interested and bring more people into it? So one of the things I love about MakerBot is that we're always, we're always innovating, we're always iterating. So uh, if, you, if you're buying a product from MakerBot, the, the, it has the least amount of value the day that you buy it and its value just increases because of the amount of innovation that we bring to the table. Um, I'm most excited to talk about the MakerBot 3D ecosystem that really brings accessibility to individuals who are creating and designing and so What do you mean by the ecosystem? So um, we have uh, MakerBot Print Shop, for example, which is an application that allows someone to make things without actually having to know anything about CAD. It's, a, it's an uh, iPad-based tool that, that lets you make a bowl. For example, this, was, uh, this nice iron bowl was uh, made by uh, MakerBot Print Shop. So you can just start with a design and, and just by making a few tweaks, you can customize your own vase or, or mm -hmm. own bowl. You can make medals for your, for your kids for different sports or for, for people who you work with who, who you want to recognize. You can make rings, you can make uh, awesome signs. So MakerBot Print Shop really brings accessibility to people who may not be CAD designers. Right. When I was reviewing this guy, the question that I kept struggling with, and I think everybody who's thought about getting a 3D printer for home has kind of had to wrestle with, why do I need one of these at home? And how do you answer that question and how is the answer changing? So without, without sort of sidestepping the issue, I think that the best answer for, for why you need one at home is that I don't think it's very long before your child is going to be using a 3D printer in school. Hmm. And they're going to need one at home the same way that uh, to do their homework and to, to demonstrate uh, you know, that, they're, that they're learning and growing and uh, it's going to become a part of the education system. So. Another thing that I encountered when I was reviewing this is that everything I made with it, this was about you know, nine months ago, was plastic. It felt kind of like the plastic, it's called PLA, right. felt like the plastic on a chopping board. Um, is everything still have to be plastic that comes out of this? Well, that's actually what we're here talking about at CES as well. I mean, we didn't come with hardware this year, but we came with materials. So what do you got? Uh, we're super excited to, to bring some composites to you. So this is a hammer that we 3D printed. And uh, the bottom of the hammer is made with a maple com composite. So it's how do you how do you get wood into plastic? Well, like, I can't it? really tell you that because that's sort of the that's state the secret? secret side mm. of it. But uh, we've, we've taken maple, actual maple, and, and infused it with PLA, and, uh, and there's a secret process there. Uh, it's sort of way above my, my pay grade in some ways. Uh, but it has the feel of maple. It, it, you can look at it, it looks like maple. And then the, the, the top here is, is iron, so it's, a, it's an iron composite. So now I could hit you with this hammer and it would hurt. It wouldn't just be uh, a prototype. I think there's, these are ever going to be as common in homes as 2D printers, or is it always going to be a niche activity? So, you know, my answer to that question when I think back on the concept that, uh, that the, personal, the personal printer almost failed because uh, the people who were designing computers could not even come up with a single use case for uh, 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 a computer in, in the house. And mm -hmm. I can't get away from the computers in our house. I think we've got five computers and probably, uh, you know, five or six tablets in our house. Uh, we also have a 2D printer, and, and when I run out of ink, sometimes I think about should I go buy one or, or just buy some more material for it because it's actually cheaper to buy a 2D printer. So we never thought that people would have uh, computers in the household, never thought 2D printers would be in, in, in people's houses, and uh, I am pretty sure that, that every house of the future is going to have a 3D printer in it as well.